Well, hey, Trinity family, this past weekend, we wrapped up our series, One Nation Under God. And it has been a joy to be able to wrestle with this issue together as a church. But I know there's still a lot of questions and many of you are are curious, what do we do now? How is it that we can take our next steps? And so that's really what this email is all about. I wanted to point you to a couple of resources to help you as we move through the months ahead and approach the November election. First, if you missed out on our special event with Dr. Tracy McKenzie, I want to encourage you to go back and to watch that event. He came in and gave us a wonderful talk, helping us to have a more historical perspective on how we view politics in this country and what our responsibility as citizens is. There's also a QA and a time where some of your questions are answered. And so again, I'd encourage you to go back and watch that video on our YouTube channel or listen to it via the podcast. Secondly, I put together a little resource for you. It's a voting guide, but not in the way you typically think about voting guides. It's not a guide that's going to tell you specifically who to vote for or specifically what to do with each issue. Rather, it's a voting guide that brings together some of the self-reflective questions and passages that we've been looking at together throughout this series. It's gonna invite you really to do three things before you vote. First, it's gonna give you some passages to just read and meditate on. Secondly, it's gonna give you some questions for self-reflection. And third, it's gonna point you to some resources to help you become better educated so that you can make the wisest choice possible. And then it's going to leave the vote in your hands because that's your responsibility as a citizen. And then the final thing that I want to encourage you to do is many of you have asked me what to read or how to learn more about the relationship between church and state and what our posture should be. So I've put together a little reading list of some of my top recommendations that I would encourage you to check out so that you can go a little bit deeper into some of the topics that we've been discussing together. In all of this, I would encourage you to keep in mind the lessons that we've been learning together throughout this series that the work that we do and the witness that we give, even in this very contentious time, would always point people back to Christ. Thanks for being a part of this journey with us, and please check out those resources.